lecture or today's topic is going to be transformative power of AI, a look into business and societal paradigm shift. Okay. So we can see, we can realize, okay, there is a paradigm shift. It means last 10 years, current and another future. Okay, I mean the another 10 years, the future is going to be totally different. So that is AI. AI vandu ella thurayilum irukku. Okay? You can see AI everywhere. Okay? Okay. Before I start AI, okay, let me uh, tell you a story, okay, in order to you understand. AI vandu okay, namma vandu Tamil la solradha irundha, alaga Tamil la solliren, English solradha vida. AI vandu uh, tharkaliga Ravanan. Neenga Ravanan patti padichinga, idigasangal. Edho Ramayana patti padichinga, kandu padichirupinga, Malaysia vida in uh, India la Ramayana mandu konya adhigam padikiranga nenikiren. Ravanan patti inna patti inna patti talan solvanga. Patti talan inra de uh, ten hit man with you know multiple talents. Yedi ke talo aunala sahiye muriya. Adha Ravanan. Yedi ka chena padi chuma apurda or an Ramayana chena padi chuma apurda oru patti talak ondavan apuri na patti talan nalla uh, super intelligent. Okay, super intelligent who can perform multiple tasks at one time. தற்காலிக Arakana Kumta Arakan. Okay, other number you put a pine paddle for the Okay, that is transformative power of AI. AI can do a lot of things. You have to understand. Even as a student, you can do a lot of manipulation in your daily life for your academic and also for your daily task by using the AI. So Adanada one then other round on solo in Pulumi in a class of Solo. And I'm Lisha class from a Puria the Ravanan Sona, Ulukuri and Gandipa. Upon the AI is nothing, or we can say in a simple way, uh, something which is good or bad. Okay, neither good or bad. Nalado look at the dona in Pakla. So you have to fix in your mind. Okay, AI is the Kadal Kadia, the other number. Fine, but the more than that. Okay. Simple introduction about AI. Okay. Okay. So today I'm going to uh, give you uh, some overview and also awareness the AI transformative power okay paradigm shift in business and society okay so something that you cannot ignore neglect okay ai it's a must ninga bloom taxonomy la bloom bloom la maslow theory la padichina management students definitely you know about the maslow the uh, maslow theory the fundamental food shelter and so on so nowadays the internet it's a it's not a wants anymore. It's a need. Okay, it's a need. So when you talk about internet, AI is a brother of the internet. No internet, no AI, because it's an interconnected network. Okay, internet means interconnected network. So AI is a, a, some function. Okay, additional function in the internet. Therefore, you can see in the Google and so on. Uh, everything is AI. I will introduce to you how they use. AI in the daily life and also in the daily business. Okay, back to the touching point. Okay, the most important touching point I'm going to touch today is first, what is AI? You have to understand AI. So, so there is AI in the computer. Okay, it's wrong because AI 
you must use in a proper way sariyana murayil payanpaduthina da adu kandipa nalla valila nammalku badhil kudukum ai and ai is not only about computer ai is everywhere maybe in your car okay in your watch okay your even your television nowadays are ai when you watch netflix netflix is a ai application because it can analyze a lot of things okay and i will talk about ai in business and also ai in society society means how ai give an implication on the daily life okay and impact of ai so impact will be negative or positive but i will talk about the mostly positive okay positive impact of ai and what are their future things in you ai okay future of ai okay but the future of ai is really a dark side for everyone okay it's a dark side because you can see a lot of negative implication of ai in the near future even now also we are facing a lot of problem i will talk about you know uh, ai in india okay india is one of the growing country uh, in term of application of the ai uh, products of ai and so on i have some fact i will share with you okay <clears throat> okay first you must understand you must have uh, some understanding about ai because maybe you have uh, some uh, wrong understanding or myth about ai okay myth about ai as i told you okay maybe you think ai is a computer no okay ai is not a computer for example if you go to google when you type something you type just a x then suddenly the full words will come up that is ai okay this ai actually introduced few decades ago but it has been a consumer product just a few years back okay maybe 2 3 years back become highly consumable product now ai is a consumer product is no more industrial product what's up on a time ai is a industrial product not a consumer product but now ai is a consumer consumer product it mean you me okay prof mani megale or who, you know dr elaraja whoever they can use i okay. those days only ibm can use microsoft google and companies can use okay not for everyone okay so that's why ai is the simulation of human intelligence processed by the machine okay human intelligent ai is a replacement okay nammala vande uh, replace pandra or machine a okay, machine uh, then basically is based on the machine learning okay machine learning and the deep learning okay machine learning and deep learning the most important is the data data and the neural network so if let's say you are a computer science student definitely you know what is data what is uh, neural networks data can stand alone if not connected through the neural networks it's mean computer networks the data is not is become a meaningful okay when connected meaningful when not connected is not meaningful therefore data and neural network is very important in ai okay the back end is a machine learning and the deep learning okay there are some you know a technical things maybe as a computer science student or computer background student you should understand all of this Okay, I cannot explain each and everything. Uh, the programming behind the AI, lot of programming right now. Okay, machine learning algorithms are ah, algorithm is a fundamental thing. Okay, improve automatically through experience, powering AI application. So everything is algorithm. Algorithm is is not a big deal. Okay, algorithm is a mathematical, computational. Okay, computational. Everything can be computed. Okay, all these when they connect, all connect can be done. Okay, number. Okay, when they when they binary, they say zero one zero one binary code. Algorithm when they some difference are there. That when they mathematical equations are there. Okay, and deep learning. Okay, deep learning is a subset of machine learning. Okay, subset of the machine learning. 
uses neural network with multiple layers to analyze complex pattern enhancing AI capabilities across industries. Okay, human, we are as a human, we cannot analyze the complex patterns. Okay, what is complex pattern? Very simple. Okay, very simple, eh? complex pattern. If you go to Thirula, okay, if you go to one Thirula, okay, Gramatal or Thirula, what are they? Okay, Iron Okay, And you can see thousand people at one place and you cannot analyze everyone's behavior. Okay, everyone's behavior you cannot analyze. Okay, first person happy, second person sad, third person is dissatisfied, fourth person uh, really look for the food. You cannot analyze. But nowadays, with the AI cameras, they can analyze. That is complex patterns because they have an AI application. The machine can analyze the data. Uh, that one we call it AI image. Okay, image analysis, a pattern analysis. Uh, mostly with the um, airport logo. Now China is leading. Okay, uh, image sensing. Okay, image sensing AI applications. Okay, so that is so called complex. So nowadays in the business, people are using uh, AI image sensing application to sense. Okay, the future behavior of the consumers. So therefore, the even though you are a computer science student or you are a business student. You must and you should know about AI, okay? The future of AI. Otherwise, you are not going, or you are not going to move so far, okay? Okay, that is AI. Yeah, remember machine learning and also the deep learning. Only two things, okay? The most important thing, okay? And connect to the data and neural networks, okay? Okay, so I put it in the graphical format, okay, for your better understanding. Okay, what is artificial intelligence? So it's about machine learning, okay, neural networks, natural, uh, this is the letter thing, okay, natural language processing. Okay, the ability to understand speech as well as understand and analyze the documents. Um, for example, chat GPT, okay, that now is very famous, eh? everyone can use chat GPT. The latest one, it fully implemented or fully introduced by the Google Gemini, Google Gemini. Okay, so you can ask anything; it can answer you. Okay, it can answer. Okay, that is natural language processing. Now they go for the robotics. Robotics is more to the industrial applications. Okay, robotics because robots are really uh, replace the humans. Okay, okay, and the param Okay, uh, Okay, or robot. Actually, it's possible. When they release that movie, and then everyone laughed. How come the machine can talk? How come machine can fall in love? Actually, it's happened. Because nowadays, Japanese uh, scientists already, uh, how to say, already install the emotional memories to the robots. So robots are the emotions. So love is the emotions. So it's possible, okay, it's possible, but it's not going to be a, like a natural one, okay, but they can have a feelings, okay, because human run by the, I mean, the human body, biological system on the uh, hormones, uh, and a robot with the hormones, uh, robots run through algorithms, okay, machine learning and deep learning. So that is about the difference between artificial intelligence and the human intelligence. Eh? You must understand both of this. So back to this one. So machine learning, deep learning, neural network, natural language processing. Okay, these are something you cannot avoid when you talk about AI. Okay, you go and if you read about this one, then you can understand about what is machine learning, neural networks. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it's a subset. Okay. It's a subset. Deep learning, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence encompasses machine learning and deep learning. Okay? Because artificial intelligence okay, cannot function alone. It needs machine learning and the deep learning. 
and based on their data. Okay, data. Data is very important. Data and the neural networks, two things. Okay, so these are uh, something technical. Okay, we have to understand some technical things before we know how we can apply that. Okay, okay. the fact. The fact is, there are some funny facts I put in, I mean, the, I inserted in my slides. Okay. The first thing is, again, I repeat, it's a simulation. It's a simulation of the human intelligence. It's not a purely a replacement. There are some definitions say AI is a replacement of the human intelligence. Human cannot be replaced until now. Human intelligence cannot be replaced. So AI is just a simulation. It can work, it can function, it can operate it. Okay, it can be operated like a human intelligence, not perfectly like a human. Okay. Okay. Historical context, the funny fact is, okay, they said artificial intelligence dates back to enzyme times. Enzyme times means a uh, few hundred years back, you know, a few hundred years back. And you can see in golems, you can go to the Google and just type golems. Okay. Golems, it's like a robot. It's like, a, you know, AI, you know, but it's not this century. Okay. However, the term AI, okay was formally introduced by John McAtee. Uh, John McAtee is the first person. People coin him as a you know, first person uh, introduced the AI. It means uh, coin the term of the AI okay, in the 50s. Now we are in the 2024, 1950s. So people start to talk about AI academically, okay, academically, and also practically 1950s. Okay, uh, the year my father was born. Okay, 1950s. Okay, so they say the task performed by program or machine. Okay, program or machine that will require intelligence if a human were to do it. Okay, okay. Before 1950s, okay, before 1950s, there is a Turing, you know, Alan Turing. If you want to know about AI, you must read about Alan Turing and also John McAtee. Okay. These two people are the pillars of the AI, so-called. Okay. Alan Turing played a pivotal role in the foundation of AI. Okay. He's one of the uh, you know, famous computer scientists, but he's a quite controversial man. Okay. Uh, you can up read about his biography. He's a quite controversial and there are he has some ethical issues as well okay but forget about his uh, personal life okay think about his uh scholarly uh, contribution okay alan turing is a computer scientist okay pivotal role in the foundation of ai okay what is the best part of the alan turing during world war ii there is a machine you know they call it enigma code Okay, for your information, the funny fact, not funny fact, the truth. AI originally started from the military system. Okay, normally they will use for the military. Because military always go for the secret, always go for the intelligence and so on. So AI highly used in military. Okay, so during World War II, the AI, okay, you see here, this is the impact of society. Okay, because war, war is a, you know, big problem right now. 1950s, Enigma Code. This Enigma Code was breaked, or we call it decrypted. Okay? Alan Turing, the only one man can decrypt or break the code of Enigma. He's a German. Okay? German um, encryption code is really, really, really tough to break. However, Alan Turing is the first person, you know, the person, the only one can break the Enigma code. Okay. Then only they introduce Turing test. 
measure of machine ability to exhibit intelligent behavior. What does it mean? This story really tells us something. Whatever human create, we can break. Nowadays, AI is a super intelligent, but this one can be break. Okay, it could be uh, broken at any point of time. Okay? So therefore, you must be very careful when you handle the AI, even though AI in the daily life or AI in the business. Okay, this is a, one of the story about the AI uh, evolution. Eh? More fact. Okay, you see. But uh, okay, there are some claims. Okay, 1956. Okay, 1956. That mouth workshop. Okay, that mouth workshop is considered the birthplace of AI. Some people claim something like an email. Email was claimed by the another scientist, you know, American scientist, in uh, 1970s. He said he is the inventor of the email. But it, in the fact, I mean, the <clears throat> in reality, there is another controversial fact. Email was introduced by uh, Siva Ayadure the Indian scientist, but there is a conflict, but in the end, he was uh, ignored and they claim it was introduced by someone. Okay, same goes to the AI. That, okay, that about workshop, 1956. Okay, uh, so they came up with the AI. For what? Solving a problem, problem solving program, sorry. Uh, including games, logical theorem, proving, and language understanding. Okay. However, the AI start to famous 2010. Everyone start to invest on AI early 2010. But you can see the result after one decade. The advancement of AI. After the high, hyper speed internet connection supercomputers and so on okay i think in the near future our computer system is going to be more faster more complex through quantum computing okay only certain country go for the quantum computing not supercomputer eh? quantum computer okay maybe you have a, if you do have a time you go and read about that quantum computer okay so 2010 it's an advancement in computing power and data availability Led the breakthroughs in machine learning. Ah, because after 2010, okay, it's the era of social media. Okay, era of social media, a lot of data stored in the system and everyone connected. Neural network through the Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and so on. Okay. Therefore, more data provide more complex patterns and also more complex information. Okay. Now Okay, now we move move to narrow AI. Okay, narrow AI. Uh, today, okay, today most AI system we interact with are example of the narrow AI, specializing in specific tasks like internet search, digital assistant, and personalized recommendation. For example, if you go to Google, you type something, suddenly the full words will come up. That is so called narrow AI. And also when you use your camera, okay, the camera, you can uh, make it uh, the, <clears throat> the size of the picture, make it brighter, okay, brighter or make it dark or make it white and uh, black and white photo. That is actually AI, okay, narrow AI, okay. Okay, actually AI uh, was very famous and everyone got to know about AI during the first film of the uh what film i forgot already the english name matrix okay i think you know about matrix movie you go and watch that movie matrix uh, if you watch matrix movie you know the early stage of ai i did a few decades ago okay matrix that is one movie okay after that people understand ai uh especially the indians uh we know about ai after the the movie of the indian and so on Okay. Sometimes films make a significant difference. Okay. We cannot avoid that. Okay. Okay. Fact. The application of AI. Now I go to 
how uh, the AI give an implication to the business and society. Okay. These are application of AI. Okay, these are application of AI. You can see healthcare. Okay, I will give you some case studies. Okay, I will discuss. And also application of AI in automobile. Okay, automobile. And also finance. Finance means banking industry. And also non-banking industry. Okay. And surveillance. Uh, surveillance, even, you know, Indian military... Indian military use any anyone interacting with me? No, sir, you carry on. Okay. So surveillance. Okay, surveillance. For example, eh, um Chandrayan, the latest one. Okay. Chandrayan is a few million kilometers far away from the Earth. Okay, but we still can get some data from them. Why? It's because of the network. And why? What they are doing over there? They are collecting data. And how they collect the data? Through the machines. And how does the machines functioning? Through the programming, computer programming. And what are the fundamental things behind the computer programming? Okay, and there are some application, AI applications, and so on. Okay, because the machine okay, can think by itself. We don't need to operate. Okay, we don't need to touch and operate the machine because of the AI. And that's why surveillance is very important. In China, they use a lot of cameras for the surveillance. If you go to the roadside, they use a lot of cameras for the surveillance. Even they can detect the most wanted people using the cameras. Okay. And also AI in the social media. Okay. Nowadays, uh, I'm not sure about India. Okay. India already banned TikTok. Okay. TikTok is one of the social media apart from the Facebook. You can see a lot of you know AI application. Even in the Facebook, Facebook they call it metaverse. Okay, metaverse AI. Okay. And entertainment like Netflix. Netflix really, really utilize AI applications to understand the pattern of the consumers. Therefore, when you use the Netflix, okay, it can suggest to you what is the next movie you can watch to waste your time. Okay, I always say this one, eh? Netflix is uh, uh, such an invention which really wastes our time. Okay. Okay. Education. Uh, application of AI in education. Uh, primary school or secondary school or high school or university colleges, you can use a lot of AI. Okay. Application. Even I'm teaching uh, how to use AI in the education. Okay. I think uh, next month I'm going to conduct one training for my uh, clicks. Okay. My faculty members. Okay, how we can use the AI uh, in improving the our academic context. Okay, and space exploration. Okay, space exploration. Okay, you know, um, India, US, China, and a lot of, you know, not many countries, only few countries, they use AI. AI really help them for the space exploration. Okay, and gaming. Robotics. Robotics mostly applied uh, in the industry and agriculture. Agriculture nowadays, uh, China, okay, China using AI drones for the agriculture. The drone can fly by itself and <clears throat> spray the pesticides. Okay. No more human intervention. Humans are not required to operate the drones. The drones automatically, uh, I mean, how to say, uh, automatically can fly by using the AI uh, applications. Okay? Agriculture. Even in Malaysia also they use, but not so advanced. Okay. And also e-commerce. 
okay application of ai for example if you buy something in amazon okay by having your data the amazon will recommend to you what will be your next purchase it can understand the system can understand and it will propose to you okay so it's mean uh, the ai okay really can understand your behavior okay okay these are application of ai okay now we go uh, specifically okay another fact okay before we go don't be surprised look at top countries with the highest private investment in ai malaysia even not in the list okay first of course us now is china leading china is almost overtaking us and followed by the united kingdom okay highest private investment forget about uh, government investment eh? private investment in ai okay china uk israel okay canada india if you look at the fact most of the countries who invest in ai are military power countries those who have you know i mean the country with a lot of you know military power i mean the in term of manpower in term of weapons and so on because ai is really uh, most important thing in the military especially uh, the weapons and also the military technologies okay therefore you can see that you know us and china uh, india is a sixth rank top 10 country in the world uh, in ai so now as a student how you want to take this opportunity so now you have to think okay how you can go to the ai industry ai is an industry right now ai industry is not a technology under the technology industry it's a ai industry there are a lot of jobs right now for the ai okay okay is a very important fact okay okay if you look at this picture okay just look at this picture this is our current world this is our current world but we don't realize we are in this world okay what you can understand from from this uh, image you see yeah, a lot of people are working here and there but everything is a neural networks connected okay everything is connected okay up down left right everything connected and you can see you know i just use a uh, generative ai i use some ai tools to come up with this picture okay you can see you know uh, these are some light lights in the left and right actually that is a uh, cloud data these are cloud data cloud data and also storage and so on you know data okay and machines are learning by itself okay through the data and through the neural networks you are operated okay we are actually partially operated by the machine partially operated by machine okay every day we hold the handphone smartphones and so on we are partially operated by the machine again and again i tell you this uh, term okay we are partially operated okay? no handphone people are crying right now because of the ai world okay this is our current situation so now think how you want to put yourself in this situation but you can't see all of this but actually we are in this situation even i'm connecting to you okay i'm connecting to you through virtual uh, connection okay through virtual connection by using the google meet is one of the ai application as well okay it's a computer application with some ai uh, programming okay okay so look at this world is very funny okay okay let us see the timeline okay so how does it impact the 
uh, business and society. Okay, this is the timeline 1950s Turing test. That is the early stage of the AI. But nobody realized the the future of the AI 1950s. Okay, and AI born Unimate Eliza. Okay, Eliza is one of the very very uh, significant chatbot still available. Okay, this one still available. This is psychotherapy. Psychotherapy. If I can show to you, uh, maybe I can show to you. Madam, uh, can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Okay. This one, Eliza chatbot. Okay. Ah, this one. Still available. Uh, yesterday I went. Uh, it's a natural language processing. Eh? Uh, this one. See. Still available. I put in the slide. Okay. Uh, but you cannot ask like a chatbot. Because this is a natural language conversation program described by the Joseph okay, Weizenbaum, 1966. Okay, uh, psychotherapist, this one. You see, first they use in the medical. Okay, and used by IBM, as I told you. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. You can zoom the screen, sir. Or maximize. You can see the Eliza. Yes, sir, yes. Sir, but it is uh, in small font. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is Eliza. Okay, you can go to the website, eh? matchback.at. Okay, this is a chatbot, like a chatbot, I mean the chat GPT. And this is a psychotherapist. Okay. Rogerian therapy, psychotherapist. Okay. AI 1966, eh? before you and me were born. You can ask. See, if I ask, you see, the evolution of the AI. How are you? Why do you ask? You see, nowadays AI is different. Okay, nowadays AI is different. You see, that is evolution. How it's evolved over the time. If now, if you go to the chat GPT, it's totally different. Okay, if I ask chat GPT, the same thing. The response will be different. This is so called advancement of the uh, neural networks and the data. Okay. You see. Uh, you see, I asked a few things about the you know, AI and so on to the chat GPT as well. So now the chat GPT can understand my behavior and it's us. How your preparation for the conference going? How the chat GPT can ask this question? How the chat GPT knows about my attendance or my appearance in conference? Because of the pattern analysis. Chat GPT understand my pattern because I search few things in AI and also a lot of things. Okay. Because I want to get some information as well. Okay. Then it's asking. Okay. Fine. Okay, but Eliza is a natural language processing, but it's a very, uh, it has developed for the particular function. Therefore, it cannot function like a chat GPT. Okay. Okay, fine. So that is so-called evolution. You can see the practical evolution, okay, from Eliza to the chat GPT. So it's evolved all over the time. Okay, 1950s, 2017, AlphaGo. Okay, Google is the one of the important uh, company really transform the AI. Okay, this is the, the full flow of the AI. Let us go more. Okay, what is the current AI trend? Okay, okay before I go to the AI trend, okay, you see. 2019, it's go for the narrow AI. As I told you, what is narrow AI? Narrow AI is mean, it's mean they introduce to the consumer. 
they introduce AI in smartphone, they introduce AI in the, our daily car, they introduce in our cooking machine. Okay, nowadays we have, you know, cooking utensils, okay? Um, we have AI. Okay, we have AI, Nero AI. And after 2020, they come up with that Nero AI enhanced. Okay, every day. Then, now we move to generative AI. By 2040, we fully, we are going to use completely the advanced generative AI. Okay, mimicking your human. Okay, and 2060 going to be super intelligent AI. What is super intelligent AI? Later I will share to you. Okay, already available right now. Okay, one day the AI will replace myself, will replace the professor Mani Megale. No professor, but class is going on. It could be happen. Even in India already tried. Okay. Okay, look at this one. Uh, this is a funny fact. Okay. After this, if anyone talking about AI, it's not started 1950s. Actually, AI fundamental uh, at that time is not coined as an AI, but they call it computation. Okay, computation. Okay. 1642, the mechanical calculating machine built by French mathematician. Okay, this guy. I, I think the computer science student definitely you know about Pascal. Pascal is one of the famous programming eh, last time. Eh? Still using it. Eh? Okay, Pascal. Okay, so actually 1642 is a fundamental era of AI because AI is a computational. Everything is calculation, okay, algorithm. Okay. And after that, 1837, 1943, 1950s, it's a really a turning point. After the Alan Turing introduced the Turing test, okay, he can and decrypt the machine. Okay, machine. That's the thing. So then, 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 now. Most universities have courses in artificial intelligence, 2018, you can see here. Okay, and now the race of AI between China and USA. Okay, followed by some other countries like UK, India, Israel, German and so on. But super advanced China and uh, US. Okay. Okay. Okay, anyone knows? Maybe you can put in the chat box. Okay, this guy, later I will check. Okay, the chat box. Okay. He's a father of AI. Okay, father of AI. John McAtee. Okay, John McAtee. This is the guy. Okay, you're the AI father. Okay, look at this one. I think uh, Rogerian therapy is uh, Eliza. This is Eliza. Okay, the early chatbot, 1966. Okay, nine, yeah, 1960s. It was introduced 1966, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so you can ask the question. Hello, I am Eliza. Hello, how are you today? What would you like to discuss? What's your name? I don't care about your names. Please go on. I see there is no sense. Because you cannot ask the question other than psychotherapist. You have to ask some specific questions only. Because minimum data, limited data, and it's not really connected. At that time, Internet was not popular like right now. Okay, 1960s. Okay. Okay, the another funny fact. Okay, the funny fact. He's a modern godfather. Okay, modern godfather of AI. His name is uh, Geoffrey Hinton. He is the mastermind of AI in Google. But he left. Okay, he left the job, I mean, he quit from the job and he left and he won the world. Okay, he won the world. 
என்ன கொடுத்தாருன்னா இந்த உலகம் வந்து ஏஆயினால கண்டிப்பா ஒரு ஆபத்து வரும் அழிக்கப்படும் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு இதுக்கு நான் உடந்தையா இருக்க மாட்டேன் அப்படி சொல்லி அவர் விலகிட்டாரு பிகாஸ் வெரி சிம்பிள் ஏஆய் டேத்தா ஏஆய் யூனோ த சிஸ்டம் சம் ஹவ் கண்ட்ரோல் பை த நேஷனல் செக்யூரிட்டி மிலிட்ரி சிஸ்டம் மிலிட்ரிக்காக பயன்படுத்துறாங்கன்னு சொல்லிட்டு அவர் ஒரு கூற்று வச்சிருந்தாரு ஸோ அதனால அவர் வெளியாயிட்டாரு அவர் கண்டுபிடிப்பாரு அது மிலிட்ரிக்கு உதவி செய்யும் மனசனுக்கு உதவி செய்யணும் கடைசியா அந்த கண்டுபிடிச்சிருக்க ஆபத்தா போயிடும் த ஒன்லி ரீசன் இஸ் வேன் ரோபோட் கேன் imitate the human being really imitate in term of emotions psychological behavior in term of movement in term of feelings when robots start to imitate it's going to be a big problem because robots are immortal okay adu ko vandu nammala mari irappu perappu irappu la irukadhu okay ai robots you can just switch off the button okay if no switch off button finish that's a problem the same thing uh, portrayed by the godfather of ai geoffrey inton you must understand so you see here these are the some implication of the ai in the business and also for society it could harm the human being okay serious harm okay okay now you see okay so particularly okay ai in business okay so before this i <clears throat> deliver something about ai how ai was introduced what are the historical point of ai and what are the benefits of ai and also the common understanding of the ai now we look at the ai in business how it can be used okay ai in the business okay artificial intelligence okay share ke nunari we okay is a branch of computer science okay i just repeat the same thing but it require human intelligence the ai cannot function independently ai still need a human touch or we call it human interventions then only ai can be developed and progress okay these tasks include learning from data making decision recognizing the patterns understanding natural language and solving a complex problem ai okay na sonnala ai vandu ravanan mari okay avanukku poor puriyu sey theriyum kadavula kombudiyum theriyum avanaala oru kaattula vetai adai mudiyum ella vithiyum kattukittuven so adanal da vandu ai is like i always say it's a ravanan it can be bad or good some place god some place uh, demon okay asuran okay la asurana asurana arakan okay so ai systems designed to adapt and improve their performance over the time Mimik- mimicking the cognitive abilities of the human brain ah, okay you see ai start to mimic the human brain for example every day you are doing business you have to market your product you have to sell your product to the customer you have to understand each and every customer it's really difficult but by collecting the data you can understand the human behavior who can collect the data the machine can collect the data computer and this data will be used by the machine that we call it machine learning how it collect the data it collect data from the neural networks facebook from us but facebook collect the data from the india okay from india how they collect because everyone communicate through facebook you are commenting you are likes for example people put certain pictures or photo lot of people like and share and facebook can understand oh indians like this product why don't we introduce this product to the india uh, something like that okay they can do it's about big data not a small data is a big data okay that is ai in business okay 
However, in society is quite different. Okay, but actually, society and business are interrelated and overlap. Okay, in society, AI represent a transformative force that revolutionize how we live, work, and interact. Okay, very simple. Those days, when we want to do something, we will type in the computer. We will type in the typewriter. But nowadays, we can ask the AI chatbots and so on to produce a text for us. See, the society change, the education system change. Okay, it leverage advanced technologies like machine learning, okay, machine learning and natural language processing (NLP) to supercharge efficiency, innovation, and decision making across various sector. Okay, including healthcare, education, and transportation. Okay, I can show it to you, real practical, eh? how it changed society. Okay, let's say, okay, I go here. Okay, okay, I go, I go here, big image. Okay, you see here, I'm not an artist, but I want to draw a picture. Okay, I want to draw a picture like an artist, but by using AI, it's possible. Ten years back, it's not possible, but now it's possible. Can I play a role as an artist? Now, Ovi, now Muri ma, how Muriyo? Epuri avarde in the being paigla. Okay, you see the AI. Just use AI, okay, practically, okay. Okay, I want to feel uh, the village environment of uh, India. Okay, so I just ask village environment. Okay, of India. Okay, or Tamil Nadu, let's say. Draw realistic picture. Actually, I can write a. A long uh, prompt, but I don't want. Come the prompter, so I can write the prompt. Okay, but I don't want to write a long prompt. Just a simple one. You see here. Eh? Now with the AI, you see it changed my daily life. So now I can see the uh, picture of I see. So I can view. So something like this. Then I can understand. Oh, something like this. Okay, because I never visited India, but I can uh, understand through visual. So grammarna ipurda irko, apni nori, but it could be right, it could be wrong. Okay, because AI is uh, very innocent. Okay, so that's the thing. So uh, AI in society really give a lot of impacts, okay, a lot of impacts, okay, especially in healthcare, education, and transportation, and also you know some other daily task. The AI, okay. Now we go specific. Eh? How AI can give an impact in marketing and advertising? Okay, nowadays. They don't need a human, okay, to run the marketing and advertisement because AI machines can do marketing and advertising strategies. It can create a content, marketing and advertising content, like advertisement and so on. Okay, so AI enable. Precise targeting in ads, like a Facebook ads. Facebook ad is a AI precise targeting ads. It can boost the return on investment by reaching the right audience. So, rather than we just promote to everyone, the AI can specifically target certain segment of market. Okay, so we can improve our our ROI. Instead of wasting money, okay. 
So AI can do customer segmentation. Okay, identify distinct client groups for tailored marketing. Tailored marketing means specific marketing. Okay, because you cannot use the same marketing approach to every customer. Different customer, different marketing strategy. Okay, creating personalized experiences and increasing engagement. This thing and campaign optimization. Now, this is another one. Okay. Campaign optimization. If you go to Facebook. Because I cannot talk about TikTok because uh, TikTok has been banned in India. Uh, you are using, uh, because I met some students from India. They said it's very famous one is uh, Facebook and Instagram. Okay. If you go to the Instagram or Facebook, you can see the campaign. They're using the AI driven analytics. So you are a student right now, computer science student or business student, whatever, whatever background, you should use AI. Because marketing is very important in the business. Even you, you know, as a student, you have to promote yourself. You have to market yourself to increase your marketability or graduate employability. So you can use AI. Okay. Okay. You see, AI in business, another one. Automation and efficiency gains. This is more to the industry. Okay. So they can use ai for the automation automation means uh, you are not required to use maximum number of staff okay first is streamlining the processes some repetitive task for example uh, you are running a customer service the customer is asking the same question so the same person answering the same question is a waste of time and waste of money so what you can do you can use the chatbot and you can reduce the complexity of the operation and it can improve the productivity and also improve customer experience. Okay, AI power chatbots and virtual assistant. Nowadays, people are using chatbot and virtual assistants. No more human being. Okay, for example, customer call. You call, depending on your phone, you can phone, you can call, you can call, you can call. But nowadays, with the AI, AI can. Uh, <clears throat> bypass everything okay third part thing you know, cost savings okay cost savings and resource optimization okay data okay data data is very important you know even uh, now i'm conducting the class i'm installing some data about me to all of you after my session when you think about AI, definitely you think about my name, Madhivan and Jagannathan. Amma, and you can have a phone over a AI Pati. Because you have a data in your brain. Okay? You have a neuron system, you can have a lecture. You can have a lecture, you can have a lecture, you can have a lecture. Okay, so something like that. Okay? So that's why, you know, your brain will analyze the data. Same goes to the AI. AI will keep the data and analyze all over the time. Okay. So by the time you can reduce your cost and also efficient resource allocation. Okay. And risk mitigation and compliance. Okay. You can avoid the risk. Real-time monitoring for compliance issues and risk identification. These are things. These are the benefits. Okay. All of these are benefits. Okay. Apart from that, AI in finance and banking. Maybe you are a finance and banking students. Okay, you can use AI in finance and banking. How they use for the fraud detection? Now they use the AI algorithm. The moment you call, for example, the moment you call, the system will detect your phone number. The system will connect or oh, this phone number owned by this person. Okay, person A, and this person A connect to the another database and then. AI will tell, oh, this person is uh, something, you know, in terms of uh, credibility, very poor. Okay? He's, he's not a good paymaster. So you can detect all of that. Okay? And algorithmic tradings. Okay? Algorithmic tradings. AI execute high frequency trade based on the market analysis. Uh, you can do the lot of market analysis. Now people are using AI, you know, for the stock exchange predictions. Okay, and also customer service automation. Uh, now they're using AI chatbot. You see, 
these are some applications specifically uh, in the certain industry. Okay. AI in supply chain management, supply chain management everywhere, especially in the production. Okay. Supply chain management, for example, you buy one product, materials, and you have to produce a full output. So you need a supply chain. So you have to do some analysis. Those days people are doing, people do analysis manually. Now AI can do analysis. Okay. AI enables accurate demand forecasting and reducing stock outs. Because stock is a inventory. Long time you keep your inventory, it can cause some depreciation values. Stock on the Roman which is depreciate for now. Okay, and overstock also. Leading to optimized inventory level and improved customer satisfaction. Okay. And also AI algorithm. Walmart, I think Walmart, I think you know Walmart. Walmart using AI in the supply chain management, one of the largest supply chain management user in the world, Walmart, because they deal million of products. So they cannot remember, human cannot remember million products, but computer can remember through the AI systems. Okay, to streamline the route and scheduling deliveries and so on. Now, the most powerful AI algorithm for the logistics is Alibaba. Alibaba. Okay. Okay, India, India Mart. India Mart, uh, I'm always use this example in my class. India Mart is one of the website, okay, in India, but I don't know, but it's not available in Malaysia, okay? Okay. You see, these are AI in supply chain management. What about healthcare? Healthcare means it's not only doctor, it's about pharmac pharmaceutical and so on, okay? Now, people are using in healthcare. Very simple, huh? Nowadays, you have, uh, you know, wearable devices, okay, wearable devices such as your smartwatch. Your smartwatch nowadays function as a healthcare device. It can diagnose your, you know, BP, it can diagnose your, uh, what we call it, uh, the breathing, okay, and so on. Okay, so AI, all of that is AI, okay. For example, uh, I have one clock, if I sit on my chair, more than one hour, it will alert me to wake up and do some stretches. Because of the AI, it can detect. Okay. So in healthcare, they use for the image analysis, helping detect anomalies, okay, anomalies in medical scan like X-ray and MRIs. Okay. And also we have a personalized treatment plans using AI algorithm. I'm not sure about you know India, okay. But in US, AI already used in the medical industry. Okay, they start to replace a uh, robotic doctor for the operations. Okay, but not all the hospitals. I'm not sure about India. Okay. Operational efficiencies in healthcare are achieved with the AI power system that streamline administrative tasks, optimize schedules, and improve resource allocations. Okay. Okay, you see, okay, AI applications in healthcare. Okay, now we see here. Yeah. So, AI is the industry like healthcare, finance, banking, marketing, okay, data analysis, so you can use AI. But which tool you want to use is up to you. Because nowadays, there are many, many, many tools. Even students, use the AI tools for the assignment. My students are using. Okay. Okay, look at the business perspective. Eh? Okay. That one is society. Case study. Okay, Amazon. Amazon recommendation engine. Amazon using a recommendation engine utilized AI algorithm. Okay, they use what for what? They used to analyze customer behavior, preferences and purchases. It's more to the predictive analytics. Okay, predictive analytics. It's mean when you buy certain product, okay, and Amazon will keep your data. When you buy again and again, it can keep your data and can analyze your pattern and they can understand your consumer behavior. Okay, for example, if let's say you buy the watch red color, okay, so they know you like the red color. 
if any product in red color may be related product to their handphone maybe their handphone cover the red color handphone cover they will promote to you because they know you like the red color the tendency to buy the product is very high because you like the red color because ai can detect your behavior based on the provided data okay that's the thing so that's why you know amazon really used this system okay and it really improved the amazon now amazon that's why you know amazon the owner of the amazon become super rich man now is number one again okay in the world number one billionaire in the world right now okay okay what about netflix ah uh, i think you know about i think india using netflix so much okay netflix content recommendation algorithm okay netflix using ai based on their viewing behavior when you watch a certain documentary or film it can understand your behavior for example myself i like to watch documentary in netflix not the film okay not the movie yeah only documentary so what happened every time i open the netflix it will recommend to me the feature documentary and also the latest documentary so by giving that suggestions through ai algorithm tendency of keeping that account is very high so i will keep and maintain the account so they can make money that's the thing ai really uh, you know give a lot of data to the company and that company use the data through the ai again to analyze their users okay this, the same thing goes to uh, most of the companies okay okay so these two companies uh, why i'm using amazon and netflix because this company is a well known companies amazon rule the world netflix netflix rule the entertainment world netflix and also another one is uh, amazon prime okay amazon prime but in malaysia netflix is very famous compared to amazon and uh, hotstar what hotstar eh? disney hotstar eh? okay so what i'm trying to say ai is everywhere something you cannot avoid okay however okay however there are some impact of ai on business okay but mostly positive impact not a negative impact but the problem is ai is a big investment if big companies affordable to invest a lot of money for the ai the small companies could face a problem because they cannot invest or they are not able to invest a lot of ai application in their business so maybe it can give some uh, bad impact to the small businesses or growing businesses it could be happen okay because through the ai application the big companies attract the lot of you know youngsters and these youngsters become a prime spot of the big companies and the small companies failure to do uh, ai driven business okay could face a lot of problems okay uh -huh. therefore ai enables predictive analytics predictive means something uh, you predict the future empowering business to forecast trend uh, they can understand the trend the future trend optimize resources and make data driven decision so whatever decision in the company based on the data okay based on the data so for example chatbot chatbot powered ai streamline customer interaction now people are using chatbot for the customer interactions providing instant responses enhancing user experience i can see you know in india india is a customer service hub but because of the chatbot many people losing a job okay many people lose their job because of the replacement of the chatbot ai instead of using 10 people they use only 5 people okay 5 manpower and 5 replaced by the chatbot so this is a dark side of the ai but something we cannot uh, ignore something we cannot avoid okay 
and also ai can give you personalized recommendations okay personalized recommendation especially when you go for shopping online shopping it can give you the some recommendations okay nowadays most of the application using ai okay and this really give a uh, you know a boost for the company in terms of sales and revenue okay, sales and revenue okay so this is the impact of ai in on business okay first of all the industry healthcare industry marketing industry you know supply chain management okay manufacturing industry and so on and the impact is mostly positive um, even though there are a lot of positive impact there are some negative impacts also we call it dark side of ai okay okay this is a uh, so called impact on business okay what about the impact on society okay okay society i put it this way is more to the education healthcare daily tasks and so on okay ai in society education and lifelong learning okay i put it this is most important okay nowadays we have a personalized tutoring okay ai offer customized learning experience tailored to each student pace and abilities for example you are a student okay you are a student you can ask the ai chatbots okay and also interactive classroom ai enable interactive and immersive learning environment and engaging student in a new ways nowadays i always encourage even my uh, faculty members to use ai but some uh, they against the ai they said ai how come you can use ai we cannot use ai in the classroom how okay they nariya complaint banuange okay but actually something you cannot avoid same thing happened you know 1995 you can ask uh, prof mani megale 1995 when they introduced internet everyone you know academician especially oh how come everyone see no no one going to read the book everyone just look at the website and copy paste the same goes to ai right now people are against to the ai because of the ai can do lot of things even ai can write a code okay computer coding okay you can ask the computer coding to the ai for example uh, chat gpt you can ask for I, i can show it to you okay just for the interactive session okay because it's online i cannot talk too much <laughs> okay if you go to ai chatbot okay You see, yeah. Uh, maybe you are a computer science student. You can write a code, debug, and test, and learn coding. I learn because now I stop learning coding because uh, I don't have a time. Okay, so you see, one million people are start to use this coding, coding plugins. Okay. See, very simple coding, eh? You see, I'm not teach you how to cheat others. I'm telling the power of AI right now. It's up to you. As I told you, as Ravan and Mary, as you have put a pen and string, put it there. Okay, as you have power wheel, okay. Okay, depend. This is so called. personalized tutoring okay you can to tutor yourself okay okay so personalized tutoring you can learn by yourself instead of learn from i know uh, i mean in, uh, from the classroom okay but you must use in a right way not in a wrong way okay So AI in society, education, and lifelong learning is very important. Okay. Sir, excuse me, sir. Yeah, yeah. Shall we finish at one forty-five, sir? The time is one forty now. Okay, okay. Few slides only. <laughs> ah, okay, sir. Thank right. you.
Okay. <clears throat> okay, again, healthcare. I, <clears throat> okay. AI in society, healthcare. Okay, as I told you before this, it's used in the industry as well and also for the daily life. You can use AI for your personalized medicine, but normally I won't recommend this one because you should see the or should consult the doctor instead of AI. Okay, I read one news, a person referred to the AI and developed his own medicine, tablet. After that, die. Big problem, eh? be careful because the medicine should be uh, uh, analyzed, should be approved clinically, and so on. Okay. Okay. However, AI now we have a big problem. Eh? Impact on society. It can be a dark side of us. For 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 us, you know, dark side for us, because it can cause a job displacement. Okay, job displacement. AI-driven automation may lead to displacement of the routine and respect repetitive job. So we are going to lose our job. Okay? And reskilling initiatives. Maybe current professors, current uh, clerk need to go to the another training to know about the AI. Reskilling. It's a, another uh, cost for the companies. However, the beauty is new job opportunities. Nowadays, we have a lot of AI job, you know, uh, prompt, prompt engineer, AI code writer, AI chatbot developer, and so on, you know. And also, it can change workforce dynamics. Okay, because, because of AI, that workforce become more dynamic due to the AI interventions. Because we can integrate AI in our daily workforce. Look at India. <laughs> okay, I just want to give you an example. India AI. News leader. This is not a real human, eh? it's a AI. Can talk multilingual. I think this is from Odisha, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, you see, AI. So journalists, news readers lost their job because of the AI. Okay. And followed by China. China Dioros is from the Baidu. I think you know about this company. Baidu is uh, like a Google in China. Okay, they are using a uh, lot of you know AI technologies, and they develop the AI technology for the car and so on. Okay, it's from the Baidu. Okay, like a Google. Okay, and this one from US. Okay, Howard Universities. Howard University roll out AI professors. They use robots to teach especially some technical subject mathematics statistics and so on they start okay they try eh? it's not fully implemented you see these are some impact on society okay ai is really uh something haunting you know the bad okay application case study and uh, they use a squirrel ai learning this is adaptive learning algorithm to tailor lesson based on individual student progress, optimize. Because one teacher cannot accommodate 30 students, but AI teacher can understand each and every student and can tailor it the lesson, okay, the lesson in the classroom. That one we call it squirrel AI learning. So this is one of the big impact on education system. Okay. And Google DeepMind, uh, this one is for the energy efficiency. Okay, Google DeepMind. Okay. okay, future of AI, normally they go for these three. Autonomous vehicle is already there, but now they go for the advancement of the AI. And also smart cities, integration of the smart cities. Some country already start, especially China, already come up with the AI smart cities. And also now they go for the climate change solutions. How AI can predict the climate changes and so on. Okay, they now they start to use AI. Okay. And societal impact. 
Okay. Um, actually, societal impact is more to the you know losing a job. Sometimes it's increase and create a new job. In the meantime, some people lost their job. Okay. These these are some societal impact of AI. Okay. Ethicals. Okay. Ethical implication. It's uh, these are the some issues government should take into account. Bias, privacy infringement, job displacement. Privacy in infringement means the company take our data and they analyze our data and they come back to us. Privacy. And also job displacement and posing challenges to fair and equitable technology use. Okay. So the advancement technology can you know, give some impact. Okay. Okay, so therefore, uh, AI governance is very important. Okay, governance means rules and regulation. What we should do, what we should not do. Okay, government governance are very important thing. Okay, and this one, government policies and regulation for responsible AI. India already step, already discuss, already start to think about this one. Okay, how the AI can revolutionize. The industry people and country okay that start to talk about international standard data privacy compared to malaysia india quite advanced in terms of this okay malaysia far behind little bit okay india advanced little bit okay okay so conclusion shaping the future with ai you must responsible ai adoption to ensure ethical practices that is the most important thing uh, AI in society or AI in business, the most important is ethical. Okay, and mitigate potential risk in business and society. We have to think about mitigation of the risk, how to avoid or how to remove the risk. Okay, and advocate for collective effort from stakeholder. Stakeholder mean government, business, consumers, and so on, to steer AI towards beneficial outcome, not a harmful outcomes. The most important is a beneficial outcome for the societal and also for the business. And therefore, we need a continuous monitor. Very important. And some countries already go at once. Uh, some countries come up with their blueprint and also action plan to control AI. Like a US, China, India also already take into account all of this. Okay. They come up with the new plans. Okay. And so on. So AI, in summary, AI is something you cannot avoid, you cannot uh, ignore, you cannot neglect. You have to use, but you must know how to use. That is both most important thing. As a student, you are in the era of AI. When you step into the workforce, you will be tested with so many things, especially on AI and so on. Okay. Okay. I think that's it. Thank you very much.